time is our tastic and in this drawing tutorial we're going to be drawing this lovely pumpkin perfect for autumn fall or even halloween so grab your favorite art making mediums and let's make some art McGivern and I'm Ms. Artastic and I have come up with a teacher challenge where I challenge you to create art with kids and through this I'm going to teach you how to create this art project and I'm going to give you all the art teacher resources to accompany this art lesson including the lesson plans, the assessment rubric, and all the student handouts. Um, so make sure that you click the link in this video description and join me for this free tutorial. It is a three-part challenge where I'm going to teach you how to teach art to kids. So come and join me, it's a free, free video art lesson and you already have these art mediums in your house, so don't even worry. We're going to be learning how to create this gecko art lesson that explores using line in your background. So grab your art making mediums, click the link and let's make some art. All right, we're gonna begin our pumpkin first with a dot at the top of her page. Around that dot, we're gonna draw an oval for the top of our pumpkin stem. Two curving lines down. Zigzag lines at the bottom. Next, we're gonna draw an oval below to make the first section in our pumpkin. Next, we're gonna draw a curved line on one side Bring it down, tuck it in, and do the same on the other side, up, down, and a curve, and tuck it in. And we're gonna do what one more time, up, around, and a curve, and tuck in, up, around, and a curve, and tuck it in. And we're gonna draw the just some little curves here along the top for the different parts of our pumpkin that are just peeking out in the back that we don't really see because of course it's far away. From that dot in the stem top, we're gonna draw a nice spiral to add some pumpkin texture on that spot, on that vine here. And some lines, you can make them curvy or dashed, whatever you want to add a little bit of texture on that pumpkin stem as well. Next, we're gonna give our pumpkin a lovely little face. So we're gonna draw one circle on one side, anywhere you want on your pumpkin, and another on the other side. Now I'm putting it towards center, but you can always stretch it out and put the eyes way over on the sides and the mouth in the middle. It's really up to you on what you wanna do. I'm also gonna give my pumpkin a cute little smiley, so I'm gonna do a nice little curve line with little curves on the corner of the mouth. All right, back to the eyes. On each eye, we're gonna do one big circle and two small circles. And then we're gonna color in the darks of the eyes black, leaving just those circles nice and white. We're gonna add some expressive lines around the eyes. So I just like to add some dashed lines here and there. And we're also gonna do this around the edge of our pumpkin. So on those curves along the bottom and around the side, we're just gonna add some texture on our pumpkin just like that. And of course, we're gonna add some zigzag lines along the bottom to make some grass texture as well. Once you're done, you're ready to grab a nice thick black marker. We're gonna go around the outline of just the pumpkin only to thicken up the lines, make them bold, beautiful, and very professional.
just like that. And once you're done, you are ready to color your pumpkin with your choice of art making mediums and colors. So go ahead and grab your choice of art making mediums and you can color in your pumpkin. Now, as you color, remember to leave a little bit of white along those top edges and that's just gonna add some highlights onto your artwork to add a little bit of extra detail to make people want to look at our art and think, whoa, this artist really knows how to add detail to make their art visually interesting and full of value. Don't forget to color in your lovely grass with a nice, beautiful grass color. I'm gonna use a blue. I'm just gonna go around the inside parts of the white on the eyes, just along the edges there, and just add a little bit of blue detail to the eyes to make them stand out. Of course, we wanna add some shadows on our pumpkin, so I'm gonna grab my gray. I'm gonna go under the stem with the gray, where the stem meets the pumpkin, around the eyes to make them extra cute under the mouth, along the bottom of the pumpkin, and over those curving lines on the pumpkin, where the pumpkin shape makes shadows on itself. Just like that. And once you're done, your lovely pumpkin drawing Perfect for autumn, or even for Halloween, is done. Hello, my lovely friend. I really hope that you enjoyed this episode and drawing this lovely pumpkin. Well, that's all for now. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button and like this video and I would love to know how it went. Of course, tell me all about it in the comment section below the video. If you're a teacher, make sure that you head on over to my Teachers Pay Teachers store where you're gonna find over 650 ready to use art lessons for your classroom, perfect from kindergarten all the way up through the middle school years. So check it out. It's a great way to plan your year and your art lessons with a click of a button. They're all ready to go, easy to use, and are a great tool for engaging your students. So that being said, let's make some art.